That is, we are error. The year 2000X with DuckTales, the moon! Yeah, like we're gonna really capture the moon. Anyway, um, this is Spiritual Muscle Part 3. Uh, I am out and about on location. Uh, I was allowed to get out of the house. Yay. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> And I thought while I'm out while I'm here, I, I might have be able to have the chance to do this again. Um, and let's go through the last two verses of this group to give y'all some assurance, to give y'all knowledge that we're gonna get through this. It's just we just have to um, it's a little more complicated than what we think it is. Uh, it's, it's all about the exponential kind of, you know, tapering off. When is it going to come to that point? Uh, there's a, a, a lot of questions. Uh, you know, what countries have seen that? Have we seen that yet? Have we gotten to that point? Are we still just escalating? Um, but I don't want to talk about that right now. Let, let's focus on the positive. Let's focus on Him. Let's focus on Jesus. Let's focus on Christ and the Again, I'm looking at a sunset again. Um, a wonderful southern sunset. Uh, welcome back. This is Grillenheimer for Gamers Need Christ. Thanks for checking us out. Checking me out one more time. Um, I, again, I don't have much time. Do I ever? Uh, <laughs> so with that, and yeah, this, this was somebody else's, well, I extrapolated, I, I've added some verses here. And these are the last two. And the last one is one that I added for, to help with inward peace, um, you know. Well, one of the last ones is Romans chapter eight, verse 28. Um, and this is really in relation to experiencing loss, personal loss. Uh, loved ones that we have lost and I, and I don't mean just pertaining to this virus going around just losses in general because uh, life happens um, Romans 8 28 we know that all things work together for good for those who love God who are called according to his purpose Let's say this again. We know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to whose purpose? His. Um, so just know that whatever happens, one, we're going to get through this, and this is all for His glory. Uh, no matter how long or short our lives are, everything we do needs to be for His glory. Um, and like I mentioned, just the whole, for homework, read Romans chapter 8. It can, uh, is really directional for help with dealing with loss, uh, personal loss. And it is, a, it is a very good chapter of the Bible, Romans chapter 8. Um, and again, you know, questions to ask ourselves. is that when we love God, we, there, we have a content. There is a certain content with us uh, that we're really not wanting all this stuff, not wanting whatever, not having any anxieties over things that are hyped up, things that can bring us down, added stress, etc., no matter what the event or situation is. Uh, whether it's hype for a movie, hype for a book, stress over media, stress over the news, uh, stress over the limitations that are put, put upon us now, etc. Uh, all these things, when you have Him in your heart, He can give you not just hope, He can give you assurance. He gives us deliverance we have realized that we have a our lives are have a bigger purpose than what we make of it within our own little minds um, and this whole channel started with this sort of premise 
as a way of helping to say, hey, here's the gospel. Uh, the best way I know how, which isn't great, I'll admit. But, I mean, some of my earlier, earlier videos are laughable, and they're long, and I apologize. Um, so let's continue. John 14, verses 1 through 4. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwellings. If it were not so, would I have not told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I'm going. Wow. Um, <laughs> saying that out loud, that just sort of took me aback there for a second. Again, he starts off, Jesus, it starts off, do not let your hearts be, what? Troubled. Don't let your heart be stressed. Don't let your heart, don't let your soul be anxious. Do not be troubled. And what does he say? The number one thing, believe in God. Believe. In the chapter of John, the word believe shows up multiple times. I forgot how many times it's in there. But it's all about in the belief, believing in Jesus, believing in him, believing he is God, believing he is the Son of God, the Son of Man, the King of Kings. Um, and then what does he also say? Believe also in me. And then he goes to, to let us know he is preparing a place for us where he's going. And that he will come and at, at our, when it is our time, he will come and take us and take us there. Um, and just part of this, let, let, let me read it one more time. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwellings. If it were not so, would, have, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself so that where I am, there you may be also and know the way to the place where I'm going. Um, I mean, this is deep. It really is on many different levels that I can't explain very well. Uh, and I've heard a couple of different explanations on this, especially one really uh, well done from my own pastor. Um, some many months ago, if not over uh, sometime last year, which he really delved into the meat of this. Um, and if you really want to try to understand and the, the crux, maybe that's the wrong word, the foundation of Christianity, read in the entire book of John. Take the time to read John um, because it is it's nothing that he's, he is so trying to convince the reader, you need to believe in Jesus, you need to believe in him. Just believe, 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 believe. Uh, and that that's not just key to the whole book. But for chapter 14, this is a great chapter for being able to settle your own soul or for settling for inward peace. To know that not just assurance, but of where we're going and why. Um, I mean, there's there's just so much here, and not only has he has told us something, he has told us to believe in God and in Him, and then he says he's going to prepare a place for us, not just me, but you, and you, and you, all of you, and then he goes on to to not just say the now, the believe in a future but then he's going to say what he is going to do that he will come again 
He will come again. And he will take us himself um, so that where he is, we'll be there too. I mean, that is so deep. It's, it's love on a level we just, again, can't comprehend. Um, and you know the way to the place where I'm going. Well, how did he get there? One, that's where he came from. And he came into the world through birth, and he got there back back there by death, which means we all are going to get through the where he is through death. Um, and it's not something to be feared, but it's nothing we can initiate. Um, but just realize, hopefully, in all this mess that don't believe in the system I mean I believe in my country I believe in my president I put a lot of faith in some things that may not hold a whole lot of water but I put all my faith in Jesus I put all my faith in, in the Lord I put all the all my faith in a father who I know created us all So, don't try to take my word for it. Take John's. Because he is so con will convince you to believe that Jesus was real. That be Believe Jesus is the Son of God. Believe that Jesus is the Son of Man. And to believe that we will have eternal life. And that we will live on. And that he is preparing our way. For whatever happens down here, that we will continue and be with him in the afterlife. Uh, and it is so much a choice. It is so much a choice. Um, and are we going to sin along the way? Yeah, we are. We're, we're going to have our ups. We're going to have our downs. We're going to be with him. We're going to have strong relationships to no relationships with him to strong again. I mean, just, I mean, our lives are almost the exact parallel of the Jews in the desert when they were without God for centuries um, during, during the time of kings. So is our time of life here on earth in the modern world. Um, I mean, that's, that's just the way it is. Like I, like I said before, life happens. And what is part of life? It is death. Um, and it's going to happen and I, I hate to say that I hate to be the bearer of obvious news uh, you can quote me on that And uh, but that's all I've got tonight the sun's gone down thanks for watching we'll catch you next time and like I said for homework read all of Romans 8 if you need if you have lost someone recently and I don't mean just to this virus, but just recently. Uh, my grandmother was very close. I was very close to my grandmother. She's been passed away for 20-something years. You never really get over the death of a loved one. But it is grieving is part of love. It's when we love the most. So, again, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Oh, that's right. And for your second home piece of homework, when you have the chance, don't we just read John chapter 14. Read the book of John. Um, it is really good. I've read it a few times. Uh, and it's written in the book of the seven signs, the seven miracles. Uh, and then when you get to the end, you find out there was a lot more than that. There's a lot more that happened than what is just written there in the collected works of the four Gospels that we know of. Uh, but th they each wrote from their own perspectives based on their professions and their audience of who they were writing to. Um, in ways to help 
us understand the points that they were wanting to get across about Christ's life here on earth and what that message really is and what it means to us and how we need to take it and to begin our relationship in love with him. I'm sorry, I'm looking at birds. Uh, so again, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day, a blessed night. We will see you next time. And as always, roll out. <laughs> Thank you.